Canada's experimental Ebola vaccine entered clinical trials today, volunteers rolled up their sleeves to help find a way to end the spread of the disease. They get about $1,100 over the course of the study, but as Pauline Dakin tells us, it's not all about the money. Hi, Emily. How are you doing today? All right. This 22-year-old student is one of 40 people in Halifax who volunteered to be injected with the experimental Ebola vaccine. I watch the news all the time, and um, to be able to do my part from over here in Nova Scotia, uh, I just thought that was really, that was a, a big part of my decision to do this. Given the fear surrounding Ebola, the researchers behind the trial are amazed by how many people volunteered, 150 for just 40 spots in the study. It's unusual, says the principal investigator. We don't have people necessarily knocking on our doors, uh, begging to get into our study. So there's been an extraordinary amount of interest in the study. I did a lot of research, obviously, before uh, applying to do this. And I realized that it wasn't as dangerous as it sounds. I mean, the Ebola vaccine trials, but my family was pretty mad at me and my friends are still telling me that I'm crazy. The study will look at the effectiveness of several different doses of the vaccine and monitor side effects. A dilution of the straight vaccine. The vaccine is made from an animal virus called VSV that's had one of its genes removed and replaced with a gene from the Ebola virus. It's not a live Ebola virus, but that Ebola gene makes a specific protein the researchers hope will trigger the body to make antibodies to fight off the virus. So you certainly can't get Ebola from it. Uh, hopefully what you do is get protection against Ebola. You can't really see it. An hour after her injection, Emily is feeling fine and hoping her contribution will help produce a viable Ebola vaccine. If all goes well with this study, the Canadian vaccine will next go to trials in West Africa. Pauline Dakin, CBC News, Halifax.